Fourteen.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Omnipolo and Buxton. It is their original Rocky Road ice cream ale at Tempsen ABV. Fantastic bottle out over there. Fantastic looking stuff. Um, so this was a part of a force um, four beer series. So there's this one. There's a, a, a Texan pecan kind of beer as well. Which looks amazing. I had that one. Look at that. Texan pecan ice cream, yes, and then the lemon meringue pie and also the vanilla pale ale, which I've done a review of the vanilla, vanilla pale ale, so get over onto um, on a bit of a search and check out that review. I did that as a, a growl fill before this got a full release, but this one sounds amazing, doesn't it? I don't know how to pull it off once again. Books are keeping playing their cards very close to the chest. <laughs> um, so I'm completely expecting Imperial Stout as it is. But yeah, Rocky Road, what else are they putting in this? I mean, it doesn't say anything else on the bottle, it just says lactose. It doesn't give away anything else. I mean, I presume for legal reasons, they've got to put something else. It just says barley, ho barley oats, wheat and lactose. So yeah, what else is in there? So this, as you may know, this is actually brewed at Buxton. As a bunch of Omnipolar beers are. So, is it, it bottle conditioned? Let me have a look. No. Screw it, get it all in. I'm not going to waste a drop of this, son of a bitch. <laughs> so, being the glass, I'm going to go black as night. You mean absolutely black as night. It looks like a perfect imperial stout. Look at that glass. Um, it is just beautiful. You can even see the reflection of my wall, the opposite wall in it. It looks amazing. Perfect um, stout colour. Nice mid brown head. It's going to swirl and sniff. Check out the aroma. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting a rocky road really. Actually, no, let me, let, I'm going to detract from that because I do get that kind of like slightly raspberry cherry kind of thing. Yeah, there's a biscuit now in there. Kind of ch dark chocolate covered digestives. Definitely a nice soft lactose. There's a hint of tiramisu going on in there, so a, kind of a creamy edge to, to it and with coffee. Oh, it's better and better as the more I smell it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big biscuity kind of like quarters. With that cherry note to it. Marshmallow, might be a bit of a stretch. I'm going to go more ice cream, but definitely ice cream. But yeah, love it, love it, love it. Smells amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ah, that's lovely. Yeah, definitely got a, getting a. Not the most, not the biggest body, I mean, considering. I mean, the other belly this year, I didn't think I had a hell of a lot of body. Yeah, top side of medium. It could do with a lot more body. If you have a look at a lot of the beers like Noah, Anagram, from um, from the beers that they're brewing in uh, Duggars, I get a lot more body from that. That deserve, This beer deserves that. Most prominent flavour is this kind of cherry, raspberry thing. I don't know if that's coming from kind of... I've had beers what taste like this and they've got quite a lot of like um, cherry and kind of crystal malt in. And a little bit of biscuit, a little bit of vanilla, a bit of that biscuit on the kind of like back end, a little bit of chocolate. But the... the um, the raspberry or kind of cherry is by far the most prominent flavour on it, which I'm not, I don't love because it, for me it, it says, um, it says kind of traditional British ale as well as sometimes, that kind of like cherry now I often get from certain kind of darker beers from traditional family breweries. Right, so I'm back. Um, I actually finished re this review, that's why it looks all a bit different. Uh, I just continue drinking on this beer. This, um, from the books in Omnipolo, and I thought it was being a bit unfair. I mean, I, was, I thought we were just going to get that cherry note, and that really kind of like stuck a bit of a sour chord with me because it was like that really takes me back to a number of beers that I've been really disappointed with. Because that just took over, but it's calmed down, it's opened up, and now get more of that dark chocolate, more biscuit, and a hint of really kind of like sharp coffee. They're definitely kind of like a. Straw, um, strawberry ice cream and, um, and chocolate ice cream going on as well. 
It's got that kind of slightly dry edge, sort of like it's like a slightly overbaked um, chocolate cake as well, but it's gone a bit dry, maybe it's singed the edge, caught the edges a little bit. But I thought it was been a little bit unfair. It's not as one dimensional as I originally thought, so I wanted to come back on and tag this little comment on before I signed off. So, yes, I could, I, I'm still going to stick by. I think if this had a bit more body, it would really lift it. A bit more vanilla, but really lift it. Excuse me, good combination. So that is a bottle of Buxton and Omnipolo's original Rocky Road ice cream ale at 10% ABV. Yeah, really damn good. I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com. See you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.